How's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to the Live Another Life series and I'm going to be spending the next few videos levelling up in a slightly more organic way than usual and if you're a new player, strongly recommend you watch my Best Start for a New Character playlist that shows you how to power level your character from leaving Helgen to stage room ready for the big guns. But with this character I'll be doing it more organically uh, but again no cheating or exploits. Okay, so things are going to levelling up at the moment are light armour to 30, sneak up to 40, Illusion up to 75 and Alteration up to 70 so I can get specific perks to spells to our end needs. First thing I'll be concentrating on is Alteration which alongside Conjuration are the two most time consuming things to level in my opinion. So to help us do this we need to get a specific spell which is a Transmute spell found in Halter Street Camp. Okay, let's go. Okay, first things first, let's see exactly where Holter Street Camp is. It's not far from uh, White Run. Uh, there's Morthal, Loris's farm, Heljarkin farm, Heljarkin, whatever, um, Fort Greymore. So literally nip around the side of uh, White Run and head towards those two little lakes that, that are joined there. Okay. Now I'm going to do this in a simple dash and bash, but if you're not playing with a follower or anything, I have done this before by going to the uh, Atronach Forge and just going to the top of the uh, camp and just firing in from the rocks up in the bluff there and firing Atronachs and that'll clear them out quite as well. So it can be done solo, even at a very early age if you've been to the Atronach Forge. Okay, just take care of them. Oops, get out of the gate, where are you? There you go. That's it, pretty well taken care of. I am glad to be by your side. I'll keep on collecting all the iron daggers and weapons. We'll have to do a speed run on enchanting sooner or later. I'm kind of putting it off. I want to keep my character fairly low level for quite a long while. But when we start hitting to the main quests and stuff like that, and especially if we go into Bruma, I want to be, uh, I want to be prepared then. But as it stands, I'm quite happy where we're going. We're doing it the way we're doing it. Sorry. Well, preparation is okay. Okay, little chest up here. Uh, it's booby trapped. Okay, this one you can just get with your sword. Oops, <laughs> if I can actually hit it. <laughs> that helps. And gold lock picks. Nom nom. That's so armor. Take that. Potion of health. Nom nom. Take that. Okay. Right, I think there's another chest in there somewhere, if I remember rightly. I'm sure there is. Oh, there it is. There you go. It's been ages since I've been here. Okay, yeah, this uh, spell we're going to get is really going to help us uh, a big time. Oh, I'll have that. Oh, yeah, that's actually not a bad little hole. Yes, I knew you could do it. Thank you. Anything up here? I'm not sure how kicking a bucket hurts me so much, but uh, nothing makes sense in Skyrim, let's be honest. Anything up here? No. Nope. I've got the feeling I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting something. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're not, we're not here really for loot. We'll take it if we find it, though. Okay, let's get ready. Oh, 
Okay, now there are loads of iron ore uh, bits and bobs here to, for you to mine, and you will want to mine. There's a pickaxe just here. Um, yeah, you'll want to pick that up, and you'll see why later on. Oh, keys to the mine. Anything else? And we got mine healing, nom nom. Anything else here? So, you like using just one hand for your weapon? I always thought you had good wrist action, but then again, Come on, there you go. can be quite good with the hands. Come on. I want these mushrooms. Here you go. These hitboxes are really small in this run through for some reason. Yeah, so anyway, there's, uh, there's a, um, a pickaxe there, which uh, you'll probably want at the end of the day. Okay, right, let's go and get them. Yeah, and Sophia, don't start bloody mining now. We've got business to do. There's the bandit chief. Oops, damn it. Okay, let's take out this bandit chief quickly. And down you go. And the other guys are... Okay, little pig. Oh, and they get them on. Okay, there's a few chests hidden around here. I kind of feel sorry for the damn uh, uh, mammoths. Do I want these? Good value there, though. That's the one we're after. Now, what this does, this converts iron ore into silver ore and then silver ore into gold ore, which you can then smelter into iron ingots. And it helps your transmute, um, alteration levelling up uh, fantastically. It's still quite a slow process, don't get me wrong. Um, until you get to level uh, 50, then you can get the water breathing spell. And then that accelerates your uh, alteration levelling. And of course, one of the reasons why we want alteration, uh, well, there's a couple of reasons, but the main one is going to be for magic resistance. Uh, because a Tyrant is as weak as a weak thing, which it comes up across, uh, up against Major, sorry. Oh, let the backpack take that. Now that trap, careful about that, is, it, it can kill you, guess it. If you're low level that will kill you, uh, so, so be careful. And one of the reasons I want to get to sneak up to uh, level uh, 40 is so I can, uh, uh, okay so it's up to you if you want to stand there girl. There you go, I did tell you. Yeah, sorry, sneak up to level 40 so I can uh, get the uh, the light foot perk. Is it light foot perk? Anyway, you don't set off traps. And that's just dead handy. Okay, come up here and you can find usually some don't coins. Think I don't see you eyeing me up and down. And be careful walking around these spikes, by the way. If you I touch them, they can do damage. And if you're thinking what I think you are thinking, then think again. I do like to be admired, though. I'm okay, we're camping, so we're going to need these. Mid. And apparently, you can uh, marry Sophia if if you once you reach a certain level in a relationship status, if you want to. Now there are two or three pickaxes you can pick up here. There's 16 iron ore uh, veins here for you to mine. You want to do it, uh, and I'll show you why. I'll probably skip through it. Yes, show that ore who's in charge. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, I'll just show you that little one. But yeah, get get out, get mining. And there's a, another chest around here somewhere. And yeah, just to the uh, right of the forge and just behind here, there's another chest. I mean, nothing great. You know, as usual, it's all level stuff and, and a very low level at the moment. So the stuff will be a bit crap, but good for us. Okay, that's pretty much it. So I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just cut out the rest of it. There's a few mushrooms to pick up and a few other little bits and bobs, but uh, nothing great. But like I say, 16 iron ore veins. Make sure you uh, uh, grab all those, and uh, I'll see you outside. And here we go. We actually, we've got a decent amount of loot out of this uh, little escapade, which is always a good thing. People. Okay, right. Do you have something to say? Well, okay, but only because it's you. Okay, let's uh Okay, take those. I think that's all we need. Okay. I'm here if you ever need me. And let's see what we got here. We have iron ore twenty nine. Ingots don't matter. It's the iron ore and this an A silver oil, which is I don't think is enough to turn to gold ore. But it's uh, the iron ore itself. That's what we want. And book, let's quickly read that. Where are you? Spell time, spell time. Where are you? There you go, transmute. Learn that. In alteration, and let's go down there. Okay. Okay, so all we do. Now, if you've got anything that can increase your magicka regen, anything that increases your magicka, uh, put it on. Um, because you could be constantly running out of magic at a low level. Uh, and one way to get around that is just, just hit your time button and wait an hour and that replenishes it straight away. But it is a pain to do that. Uh, if you can dual cast it, that's uh, where you get most of your XP from. Okay. So you can see, I'm just giving you a little demonstration um, on this quickly. So it's how long it takes to you can see how long it takes to actually regen. Yes. Did you want something? Okay. So when I do this properly, I'll be wearing. I've got some gear which I can put on, which would be a big help. And the idea of this is to get up to level 50. Now, interestingly enough, because we're getting gold ore. Now, I do have a mod that actually uh, has uses smeltering, which actually enhances your uh, blacksmithing XP. Uh, but even if you didn't have that, when you go and turn the gold ore into jewellery, which you want to enchant at a later stage, you can set it off uh, and make a huge profit. See how it increases the alteration there, 22? Um, so your smithing goes up. So by doing this, you're, you're actually raising two uh, things at the same time. So smithing and alteration. Okay, right. What I'll do is I'll fast forward this. Yeah, and the uh, ultimate thing on this as well is to uh, actually get the Atronach uh, perk in Alteration as well. And that's where you absorb 30% of any spells used against you. And that's a dead handy uh, perk to have. Uh, especially in the build that I'm, I've got here. Yeah, I'm going to have to start popping out some more um, Atronachs and uh, Conjuration or, or casting the Bound Bow for a while because that's another one which is an absolute pain. All the rest of them are really easy and quick to, to level up to be fair. But those two are just such a pain. Um, the conjuration one is always important to me though. I always have 
I uh, always use Atronax and Dramora Lords, every build I use. Okay, so we banged it all out and... Um, uh, so see what we've got though. And what we've ended up is with 30 gold ore, which we then smelt into gold ingots, which we then convert into jewellery, uh, which we can then enchant, and then we can make lots of money, uh, as well as raising our smithing skill, our alteration skill, uh, and we can use them for training. So let's uh, pop in some magicka, okay, and have a look. Where are we? Alteration, and we got up to 24. And this is what we're after. And level three is at 70. And Mage Armour, which I doubt very much we'll be using. You've got the stability perk, which gives you a good great duration if you don't want it. But this is one I want, the Atronax uh, uh, perk. But you've got to be level 100, and we will get there uh, in the end. Okay. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. And uh, like I say, there's a whole series of uh, leveling videos coming up. And uh, I hope you find them useful, guys. And uh, see you next vid. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.